have a bunch of solvents. I have this, I have, I have a bunch, but I don't use them. I just use uh, whatever lubricant I have. Okay, extreme weapons lubricant. Okay, good. So then uh, I just put it a little bit right here. Anywhere there is a wear, wear and tear marks, like there, you know, here, put that in, and then you just have to find that hole right there, so you can put this in there, okay? Those are, you know, you see these uh, rub marks, the black, black paint is out, or black coating is out, so I just put a little bit, and this is massage it, just put it in there. Okay, so after that, I think you have to turn it this way, the other way. Put the firing pin in there. Okay, like, like that. Ah, it was much easier. Just pull it out and then uh, put the final pin right here. So you don't need a special tool to clean or not that. So you close it in and out, in and out. That's that. So that part is done. So now uh, let's put the tools away. So again, wipe down. All right? It's easy, right there. Okay, these parts in there, uh, you need uh, uh, Q-tips. <laughs> Again, I'm not saying this is the right way, or, you know, like the law enforcement way or anything like that, okay? I might be doing it wrong, and I'm sorry, but I just wanted to show you and clean it within like, I don't know, 10 minutes to 20 minutes, depending, depending on how much time you really want to clean. Okay, inside there's the star part in there. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, yeah, right there. So then that's hard to clean, so I have this tool to go in there and just screw up that part, okay? So, you put it in here. Shove it in there, and just twist it. It'll knock out all the uh, carbon buildup in there. I'm sure there's different um, products out there to clean a starburst area, um, but I, I just do this. And like I said, zero malfunctions. Maybe because it's cold. Okay, I have the snake bore to clean the barrel. So you put this uh, lead or the metal area into the into the start of the barrel where the start first is. You just drop it in. You know, it's much easier when there's no cameras, but hold on. You just let the gravity do its trick. You know. So it is going down right now. Okay, so it went out to the other part. All you have to do is just pull it. Just turn it and pull it hard, okay? The barrel is clean. Okay. Uh, let me just check real quick. Okay. It's super clean. I hope I, I hope I can show you guys, but but it's just difficult. Anyway, so wipe this part down. You don't clean the lens with this, okay? Um, because it might damage the lens. So then, what I have is. This 
called Vortex. Um, I think it's a lens cleaner. So basically, this side has a little brush. So then uh, let's brush it because there might be a lot of dust, right? Brush it. And then this side, let's brush that. There's four lenses for my magnification. And the other side. And then let's put this down. And then the other side, unscrew this cap. And you just have to in contact and rub it. It is clean, I think. Don't touch it with the other, you know, other uh, glass cleaner or anything like that. Because you might scratch it with your, even if it's microfiber type ta uh, table, uh, towels, because it might have some dust on it. So that's that. Complete clean. So now I've, I'll put it back. So. I just oiled the entire part a little bit. Okay, and then so it doesn't overflow. Okay. And also the charging handle. So you first insert the charging handle right here. There's a little groove that fits. Okay. You know, this charging handle has a groove right there. And inside there is a groove. So you find that groove. Just let it sit right there. And the starburst pattern to the starburst pattern, right? So you put this part into first. I can just this down a little bit. I'm just going to use two hands right now. Okay, this has to be uh, extended, sorry. Okay, then it goes in smoothly. Let it lock. Both it is locked. Okay, there's some oil parts. Just rub it off. It'll come off. And this part, we rub it off and then close the dust cover. And that's that. So you put the lower receiver and the upper receiver together. Just completely out. And then pop it in. You just pop it in, push it down, and then pop this pin in. Okay. So then, uh, first chamber check, there's nothing. So then you cycle three times. And then make sure uh, there's nothing in the chamber. Then you do function test. Okay, good. So, guys, uh, I'm done with cleaning and make sure this is safe. So, like I said, this gun is not fully automatic. And, uh, but then this gun is uh, pretty light. So, let's see. I'll show you. I wasn't going to do it, but. Let me see. I'll get the digital scale. It works okay so let's change to um, pounds okay this is without the magazine so it is uh, seven point seven pounds and seven point four ounces it's very light this is the lighter setup so that's why the name is LT light 6720R and mine is a tallow edition. I, th I think they only made 1,500 of them. The only modifica modifications are the front Troy sights, the GPS uh, from bipod grips, uh, Laru mount for aim point H1 to MOA, which is uh, just a smaller red dot or the finer red dot, so it's more accurate. Um, also, aim point uh, three magnification zoom with the Laru mount. Um, the rear Troy metal sight 
And that's that. Everything came with the gun and with my sling that I use. Okay? Alright guys, uh, hope you like this video. And uh, hopefully you guys uh, subscribe and like my videos. Thank you.